Also ahead, Omaha's own marathon man and his mission to keep his sister's memory alive. And KTV News Watch 7 at 6. More complete coverage with Rob McCartney, Brandy Peterson, Chief Meteorologist Bill Randy, and Sports with John Schultz. This is your favorite choice for local news. KTV News Watch 7 at 6. Thanks, Brandy. A local man is running in the Boston Marathon next month, but this race isn't about him. It's all about his sister and keeping her memory alive. On the Health Watch, KETV News Watch is Nicole Burley with an Omaha man's mission to raise money and awareness about Addison's disease. This is where you'll find 41-year-old Jay Ross most mornings, running mile after mile as he trains for next month's Boston Marathon. It's been sort of a lifelong dream for me as a runner to participate in this event. In preparation for the marathon, Jay runs about 8 to 10 miles, six days a week. But this isn't just any race. Jay is trying to raise $10,000 for the National Addison's Disease Foundation. His sister Jill, also a runner, died from complications related to the disease back in 2007. She was frequently sick because of because of either the Addison's or because of the medication. Addison's is where your body, your own immune system actually attacks the adrenal gland. UNMC endocrinologist Dr. Lynn Max Shipman says Addison's is very uncommon but can have a devastating effect on those who are diagnosed. These people lose weight, um, they feel very nauseated, they can have a lot of abdominal pain and so sometimes you can see these people coming in for pain medicine. Jay says that's what ultimately led to Jill's death. She was prescribed methadone to counteract her dependency on pain medication. Well, for five days uh, she went into this methadone clinic and they administered the methadone and on each of those five days they increased the dose and on the fifth day she came home and she passed away. Although the pain of losing her is still there. I know that um, that she'll be there with me during the race. Jay says he wants to turn it into something positive. In Ponca Hills, Nicole Burley, KETV News Watch 7. NJ plans to hand the $10,000 check to the director of the Addison's Foundation right after he crosses the finish line. If you'd like to donate, go to any U.S. bank branch and mention Run for Jill. All donations are tax deductible.